I had an idea going into this build, unlike the first build, which was a complete disaster. I wanted to sort of encompass this yellow house. The NPCs seem to really love this house. And so I had the idea of doing two towers, one on each side of the house with a sky bridge connecting the two. And at this point, I'm just trying to figure out the heights of everything and try to make sure that I get enough clearance to go over the top of the house. Once I get that done, then I'm going to go through everything here and I'm going to create a structure so that everything lines up. So what I want is in order to make sure that everything is connected, everything needs to be on the exact same grid. So I'm going to put enough foundations to go from one side to the other side so that it all lines up so that when we build our sky bridge, both the buildings will connect perfectly. There won't be any gaps, nothing weird going on. And now I'm trying to get this, I, I'm putting the, the top on so that I can make sure that we're getting enough clearance over the house. And then we're going to get a, a better vantage point and we're going to put this whole structure in place. And now everything is lined up, so now I, everything's good to go. We're going to start building the towers. And I'm going to start over on the settler's side. As I'm going to claim one tower for myself. And the other will be for our settlers, for their sleeping, for food production. Uh, if we get vendors in the future, we'll put those in here. I originally had thought to put the settlers on the topmost floor, but I ended up not doing that just yet. I was after this whole this whole build took seven hours and by the, the time that seven hours was coming to a close I was ready to stop building in the worst way possible I just I, I had to make it stop so it, it, most of the structure let's just say the structure is done it's it's the little things like some more of the accoutrement, the decorations, if you will, still needs to be put in. So at this point, there was, I had this tree here. And originally when I had cleared out sanctuary, this time around, I decided to leave the trees because I didn't want it to look completely barren. And I wanted all the trees. We've got these beautiful springtime trees and I wanted to be able to see them. But when I was putting this particular part of the building together, this tree was just kind of in the way a little bit. And I almost got rid of the tree. But then I thought, no, I, I really want to keep the tree, so I will bend the building around the tree. And I just felt like it gave the building a little bit of character to have this goofy little corner <laughs> that is making room for the tree that's growing outside. I couldn't get this to snap for some reason. I don't know why. So I used this pillar glitch to get it where I needed it to be. And I'm just, I wanted, I wanted all of this to feel open and just light and airy. I didn't want, I don't want to feel closed in. I, I think that at some point, we may do a build where things are sort of a bit more closed in, a bit more normal, if you want to call it normal, like a normal sort of house. But I just wanted really tall ceilings. I sort of, I, I kind of, I think with this build, I went a little bit overboard, <laughs> just a little. Instead of just building a basic little settlement, <laughs> I just did this giant, giant structure. <laughs> So, the next settlement will probably not be quite as big as this one <laughs> turned out to be. So now we're putting the second floor on. I, I decided that what I wanted was for the main floor to be three walls tall. 
And then the second floor will be two walls tall. That way everything still feels open. It still feels like there's plenty of space. Where, so you're not, you don't have the ceiling closing in on you. Basically, I just wanted, I wanted to build my own mansion, as it were. And this is sort of the servant's quarters, is kind of how I feel about it. <laughs> So I don't know what I don't know what we did to Junebug right there, but he's been glitched in that little bush in that little corner for a while now. <laughs> so now I'm over on what will be our tower, and I'm going to do the same thing where we're gonna go three walls tall, and then a floor, and at the top will be our master bedroom. And this bottom floor will be where we have all of our crafting benches uh, and stuff like that there. And I really liked, I wanted to get rid of this, um, this concrete foundation because I didn't like that flooring. I, I really liked the wood floor and I liked the way I could turn the block so it was kind of like tiled. And then now this little rounded area was purely for aesthetics. And it turned out to be a nightmare because it didn't quite fit. It didn't work right. I couldn't get it how I wanted it. And I had to take the floor out. I had to move stuff. I had to, it was a pain, but I finally got it in the end. And then I'm on the other side. And this is another one where it's purely for aesthetics. I didn't want the building to be completely square or rectangular. I guess it's not really a square. It's a rectangle. But I wanted it to have a little bit of character, so that's the whole reason for this. There's absolutely no other reason for this. Oh, and then this is where this is where I'm I'm like, hey, this doesn't fit. Oh, now I'm gonna have to okay, so I'm gonna have to adjust this. No problem. Oh, wait, it is a problem, actually. We have to do all this moving around, all this stuff. We gotta get the floor out of the way. It was just a hassle. It's like, oh my god, even the simplest things is a nightmare to do in, in here. So we finally got that done. <laughs> it ended up this little this little cubby corner half circle thing ended up being the spot where we put our power armor so it turned out to be useful in the end <laughs> it's sort of like when you have that sort of weird corner or weird angled wall in your house and you're like well i don't know what the heck to do with that but then you put something there and it's like yeah it just kind of it just kind of works doesn't it at first here i thought hey I'll put up some some barn door walls. They're tall. They're, they've got wood on them. They look nice. I can get the windows. But then no, because all the windows are broken. And I hate that. So I just went with the concrete. <laughs> Even though there's no window in it at all, it's better than having those broken, messed up, glass panels that are I don't even why do they even do that it's like yeah we can build all of this wood all this concrete all this metal we can do all this stuff but we can't find a piece of glass that's not broken <laughs> I mean I get it nuclear explosions are devastating glass breaks glass is fragile but come on we can do all this other stuff and we can't make glass <laughs> it just seemed a little I, I don't know. It just seems not right. <laughs> I'm making our sky bridge a little bit skinnier there. And this was, oh my gosh, okay. So I had this idea for this flooring. I was going to do two levels of flooring so that our bed kind of sits up a little bit higher and then we have like a recreation area. And that turned out to be a little bit of a hassle. I ended up rebuilding this floor probably five times before I finally got it to work. I'm just showing you the actual time that I got it to work. But a lot of this stuff was trial and error. A lot of error, actually. So fortunately for you, you just get to see the one that, that actually went together as if I knew what I was doing in advance. <laughs> 
at this point, I'm I'm just sort of putting in the walls for our sky bridge. I end up going back and removing those in favor of windowed um, walls for the sky bridge, just to open it up a little bit, and make it a little more airy. Airy is that a word? Airy? Yes, it is a word. It is now more airflow, more light, more openness. That's what I was going for. <laughs> So now I'm just putting the roof on the sky bridge, and I guess it's the floor for the next level. I mean, technically we can get up there. Uh, at some point in the build, I am going to put stairs up there. And speaking of stairs, oh my god. Oh my god, this was such a nightmare. I could not get these stairs to go right. You're, you're, of course, you're seeing the, the final when I did get it to go right, and it's still, I didn't quite get it how I originally wanted it. I ended up having to settle for doing this goofy little weird step here, but, oh my god, that took me like 45 minutes on that one staircase! It was driving me crazy! <laughs> and then, I thought, okay, this is where I thought, alright, I need a way to get up onto the roof so I can put power up here, so I can do the things I need to do. So I'm doing a little railing here, moving my, my little, and then, oh no! No, I fell! I fell and I died. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm crying for about 10 minutes. Not really, but, oh my god, I was devastated. I lost about, oh, it was probably about 20 to 30 minutes of construction <laughs> on that, on that death. I had built the entire roof. I had a nice little sunroof, and yeah, now I'm now I put the safety rail after I've killed myself on it. <laughs> so, so I instead of showing you me building this twice, I'm just showing you the after I died and I'm putting it together. At least this way, it looks like I know what I'm doing because everything's going bit bop, but right into where it needs to go. And here's the sunroof. I ended up raising this a little bit. I I kind of thought. It didn't stand out enough, but then I realized I didn't put the second level of walls, so I had to redo the walls and then move all the floors up so I get the height that I had originally intended. <laughs> it was not going well at this point. I was so frustrated at this point, but you know, you carry on. Oh yeah, now here I'm trying to do so I can raise up the skylight a little bit because it it just set it apart a little bit from the inside which you'll see in the walkthrough coming up shortly so yeah i thought that was that was nice having this little sunroof now here we are widening this where this is where i originally intended to put the bedding for the settlers I ended up not doing it only because I was kind of like, I'm done. I am so done. It's been seven hours. I'm done. So, But in the future, I will end up moving the beds for the settlers to that floor. And I wanted to have enough room that you could put the beds and yet still be able to walk around without the beds being in the way. And here we're doing a little bit of a balcony. And now all of our stuff. We're starting to decorate just a little bit. Placing everything down and gotta get the pool table. Now here's all of the beds for our settlers. Get a little bit of food. And this is, this is, I'm doing power, but I'm using the Wi-Fi power glitch. And I will do a separate video on this glitch and how to do it properly how to get it to work. I'll go into all the details. I'll also put all the links on on the people that have that discovered it, that I learned it from. I will put all of that in that separate video. But this I wish I had known about this glitch the first time because this makes wiring well not you don't even really need to wire, but it makes giving your settlement electricity a million times easier. It's insane how easy it is. So now at this point, the structure is completed. For the most part. 
I would say for the most part. I think we're the only things left that I feel like I want to do with this settlement is we need to get some more decorations and stuff going on in here. At some point, I would like to put in vendors. I'm not sure if I'm actually able to build the vendors yet. Um, I know you have to level up and you have to unlock perks to do that. So, yeah, I think it turned out it turned out nice compared to our first attempt at that tiny little building. Although it does look similar because it's concrete, I found that the concrete just really works well for for building stuff. It's I think that I think that the concrete was added in a DLC, and I think they probably were like. And by the time the DLC came out, they had a better sense of how to do the settlement building. It's what it feels like, because it feels like the cement blocks just work a little bit better than the other stuff. There's more things you can do with it. There's more snap points on them and, and stuff like that. So here's our walkway. We've got our balcony leading in to our building, our side of the building. We've got our fast travel mat. We've got all of our crafting stations so we can upgrade stuff. Our power armor, nice open area. There's our sky bridge leading to the settlers area. And then up here is our bedroom. We've got a pool table so we can chill out, listen to music, hang up our perk magazines, get our bobbleheads, our bed. We can turn off the light so we can sleep better at night. <laughs> I've got a little balcony on the outside there. There's our skylight, sky roof. It's, a sky, it's called a skylight, I think. And then here, for when we need to get up to the top, we can do so safely. We have railing, although once you get up here, you're on your own. <laughs> All right, I thought up here we could put a flag if we get the recipe from. I'm pretty sure we could get a recipe for making a flag. And we can put our settlement um, recruitment beacon up there. And then over here is the settlers area. This is our tree that we cut a hole in our building for. <laughs> and then on this level, I've got the beds for now, but I'm going to put the vendors there and the beds will go up the next to the next level in the future. Once we can actually build the vendors, that's when I'll, I'll move them up. Down here we have food, and there's Junebug. He's unbugged, and he's working along with his wife on the food production. I don't know what we'll put there. Storage, maybe. This is our little balcony. No safety railing for, for the peasants. Our settler peasants don't get safety railings. <laughs> I'll fix that when I do some decorating, but that's it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed Fallout 4 Creative Mode, where we built a settlement at Sanctuary. If you enjoyed this episode, remember, hit the like button. It really helps the channel. Leave any comments you have down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Dashpot out.